So a lot of you comment on my videos or even contact me directly to ask about what I think is one of the most overrated aspects of photography, which is sharpness. So first, why is sharpness important? Well, you want to have sharpness to a certain extent in your photography to make sure that you are able to distinguish clearly your subject. Of course, if you have a photography and you can't make out what is a subject, there's nothing that comes out and everything is blur, well, that's definitely a bad photography. Or maybe it's something that stylistically is what you intend. That's a different topic. So of course, you want your photography to be sharp to a certain extent. You want your subject to be recognizable, to be visible to the eye, and to be separated enough in terms of sharpness to other elements in your photography. So I do agree that sharpness play a role in your photography and the expression of what you want to showcase. However, what I disagree with when a lot of people talk about sharpness is absolute sharpness. As photographer, when we go and edit our pictures, we always like to pixel peep, right? We always like to zoom at 300% uh, on our pictures and we want to make sure that everything is sharp. But we have to remember that most people don't do that. Most people will not look at a photograph and just zoom in to see if there is any semblance of a blur in their, I don't know, second eye that is not in focus, right? Or that maybe you get the focus on the nose instead of the eye. Most of the people will just look at the picture that you provide and just look at it as it is. And one important aspect to remember is that you produce pictures for the people who look at them. You are not the main person who is going to look at the pictures, especially if you work with clients. Most of the clients you are going to work with are not going to pixel peep, except maybe if you work with high-end product photography or food photography clients. And if you do, I assume that you're not looking at this video right now because you know that you will need edge-to-edge -edge sharpness or the full product should be in focus. So I assume that you already know that you need specific equipment and specific techniques to make sure that this happens. But most of us, we do not work with this kind of client. We work with clients who want pictures uh, for portrait or headshots or any kind of other topics, right? And they are not going to spend hours looking at their picture to make sure that every single facial um, aspect, I mean, every single aspect of their face is in focus. Nobody does that. And if you think that the client is going to spend that much time on checking your pictures, then you're completely wrong. Sorry to tell you. So stop putting so much emphasis on sharpness. The only people who are going to tell you that your pictures are not sharp enough uh, on the edge or sharp enough uh, on the uh, the nose or whatever are other photographers. And honestly, their opinion doesn't matter when it comes to client work. What matters is whether or not the client is happy with your work. That's, that's all that matters. Which leads me to another topic, autofocus, right? Nowadays, people have, I don't know, crazy expectations when it comes to autofocus. And that's also, you know, when it, when it comes to Fujifilm, a lot of people criticize Fujifilm because the autofocus system of Fuji, Fujifilm is complete trash. It cannot autofocus at all. Well, I, I've taken countless pictures with uh, Fujifilm cameras. I have serviced tons of clients with Fujifilm cameras. And I can tell you it autofocuses fine. It's just that people have to manage the expectation a little bit more. People always think that whenever they, add sh they are shooting at 1.0 or 1.2 or 1.4 or whatever, they want the system to be tack sharp on the eye every single time, even if there are tons of movement, if they're, even if they're, they are shaking their hands like crazy, right? And this is not a reasonable expectation. You cannot expect a camera system to be always spot on focus on the exact eye that you want every single time. First of all, is that necessary? Again, I don't think so because most of your clients will not look at the pictures the way that you do and will not have the expectations that you do because those are just technical expectation and most of the people don't care, let's be honest. So necessary, absolutely not. And secondly, 
Why would you want that? Like, why do you want always the eye to be on autofocus? Cool, you got the eye on autofocus, right? But is that the only thing that you want in focus? Maybe if you want everything to be in focus easily, maybe you should learn to step down a little bit in terms of aperture as well, right? There are tons of things to consider when it comes to sharpness. Not only your shutter speed, your aperture, but also how you're shooting, right? You should not always expect the lens to be tech sharp every single time, every single at every single places that you look in your frame, right? That is not the purpose. The purpose is for you to create a picture that tells a story with a certain composition, your subject place in a specific area that you decide at the end of the day. And that leads me to my next point. Instead of focusing solely on sharpness every single time, maybe you should start focus on other elements such as lighting, composition, stories. Sharpness is fun, right? It's fun to talk about the lens and how when I zoom at 400% on the 50mm f2, it's great, it's still sharp, etc. But at the end of the day, right now I'm filming myself on a $90 lens, right? Are you, do you think it's not sharp enough? Do you think it's not good enough? Or did you even notice that it was a $90, you know, 35mm f2 lens? That is manual focus. Most people don't care, most people don't know about it, and most people don't want to know about it. At the end of the day, the lens, the camera is a tool. The picture that you produce should have kind of a combination of every single aspect of it. Sharpness should not be at the center of whatever you are producing. Sharpness is only one aspect of what you should consider, right? If you solely focus on sharpness and having sharp pictures, great. But the client won't care if your picture is sharp, but not properly lit. It won't care if your picture is sharp, but they are not properly placed in it. It won't care if your picture is sharp and there is a pole going from them to, you know, straight out of their head. And it also won't care if your picture is sharp, but you're not able to clearly communicate with them and clearly manage expectation, clearly, you know, talk to them and make them feel comfortable, clearly direct them or clearly, you know, understand their requirements. All of this is to say that you should stop caring about sharpness that much when it comes to lens, when it comes to camera, and you should start caring about other aspects of photography, which makes a huge difference in your images. Having your image properly lit, having your image telling a proper story, having your image with a little character, some grain, or even some lack of sharpness, is definitely much better than having a tack sharp, perfectly focused picture. And if I look at a lot of my pictures, some of my best pictures are not perfectly focused. Some of my best pictures are not perfect in a technical aspect, but they are some of my favorite pictures because they tell a particular story. I remember some aspect of the journey that allowed me to take that picture. And the journey, the story that they tell is what people feel when they look at the picture. It's not about perfectly sharp. It's not about the autofocus was on the right eye at the right moment. Sharpness is basically a marketing kind of argument that they will give you to keep selling you more and more expensive lenses. But at the end of the day, sharpness is not what matters. What matters is all the parameters that I tell you and the fact that you understand what kind of photography you want to produce and you produce exactly that whether it is perfectly sharp or not. So do not let sharpness be a limiter for you. Make sure that your pictures are sharp enough, but don't let it just be the sole expression of what you want to produce.